Hey, what is up, everybody? Ruben Heights here. My name's Ruben, and welcome back to the Cursed Forest. Now, I told you guys, you guys are going to be seeing a lot more of the Cursed Forest. Obviously, I do want to get the series done, and I'm really interested to see where the story is going to go. Now, if you guys remember in the last episode, we finished off in this massive area where the thing basically exploded. Uh, it looked like one of the save points, but the base itself was broken, and obviously, this crystal inside or the energy inside caused a massive explosion and then forced all the water out allowing us to cross this river because every time i try to swim across i would get dragged down by something now the only thing is when that explosion happened and when i came down this way for the first time it sounded or felt like i had released something it honestly felt like when obviously everything was busy shaking when it was vibrating when the color was all busy fucking out it honestly sounded like i had released something and obviously i don't wanna <laughs> i hope that that's not actually the case i hope that i actually didn't release something but obviously we are still here to try and find out what was going on so last episode i did try to also make my way over to this fire and we ended up dying i think it was due to a bear trap so we are obviously going to keep our eyes very very open so that we don't walk over the exact same bed trap because obviously i do want to make my way over damn it but i can't actually see a fucking thing in here now i feel like going through there might be death but we're gonna jump in <gasps> yolo that is never mind it wasn't <laughs> okay so it wasn't actually a bed trap it was a big fucking hole in the ground so now we know which way not to go for the life of me i could not remember which path i had taken and what it was that exactly killed me but <laughs> we're going to make our way back to the point. Now, I haven't forgotten about this cabin. I haven't forgotten about it. I am going to come back to it. Just my last two experiences with the fucking cabins haven't really ended off that well. So, obviously, I'm going to try and figure out as much as I can before I actually need to go back there. Okay, so I've missed a big freaking hole in the ground. Oh, it's a big rock. Okay, so we're here. And I haven't seen another note. I mentioned this in the last video. It has been a damn while since we've actually gotten a note, given us more, any more clarity into what is going on in the story. I don't know if it's just simply me that's missed out on all the notes, or if there literally just hasn't been one. Now, it looks like there's a way down this way. It looks like that might be some kind of a save point. It's got the same shape. And it's also got that purple glow with it. But obviously we can't get that because that bridge is out. And if we float around this way, we've got that area. But that is possibly progressing a little bit too far down from what I want to do. So we're going to backtrack, fight this awful frame rate, and go into this cabin and see what the fuck is going on inside here. And we haven't seen our good buddy the Scarecrow in quite a while either. He's normally responsible for me shitting myself most of the time. Ugh. Now, I don't know if you guys can hear that. But of course, I come anywhere close to this freaking house. And that horror music starts. Now, it doesn't actually seem like I can get into the house. I mean, it would be relatively simple. I mean, we've got a saw literally right there. Just saw through those bars. Or literally just kick open the door and go underneath. But it doesn't actually look like we can go through that way. The front door may be open. And I'm definitely... What the fuck is that? And I'm definitely not going up to one of the windows. Last time I did that, I got the biggest fright of my life. And as I say that, I walk towards the window. But I do see a picture over there, though. Looks to be like a family... Oh, that's terrifying. Oh, that's not creepy at all. Wow, I really don't want to go into that house. Jump scare? Oh my gosh. No joke. Some of these pictures are putting some real goosebumps down my spine. What? <gasps> oh, sh Okay. Wow. That picture was literally warning me that somebody is going to, or something is going to throw a fucking pitchfork at you. And I'm literally standing here trying to figure out what the hell it's all about. Not thinking they were actually going to throw a freaking pitchfork at me. So I think what I'm going to do is, we're going to look at it. Act 
Bitch, I saw you. Wow, okay. That was rough. <laughs> Why the hell would she be throwing a fucking pitchfork at me? Where did she come from? Where did she go? Got an eye, Joe. Like, what the? Okay, I actually thought there might have been a note. There's no be explaining a bit to us, but no. She's going to throw a freaking pitchfork at my head. Because that's obviously something people do. And of course, now the music stops once we threw that section. Okay, but we do have what looks to be an unsafe point over here. Yes, it is. Beautiful. Okay, so that's where we were supposed to try and cross. This is where we were going to try and make our crossing, but obviously it didn't work. So this damn wall blew out. This damn wall blew out. As you can see, all the bailed down rocks, then all the water pumped into this open valley over here, basically. So now it's just a case of getting back. And we can't continue with this path because this bridge is out here in front as well. So I think we've got everything from down this side. I think it's simply a case of going back to that fire and seeing what was up there. But oh my gosh, that scared the shit out of me. I'm trying to see if there's actually something in there. It's pretty well decorated for something that I can't actually go into. I don't know if that's supposed to be like that or if that is just really good attention to detail. Not 100% sure, but oh my gosh, that was freaking horrifying. So that note literally said I'm going to have a pitchfork thrown at me. And of course, I stand right in the way and take that whole pitchfork to my face. Okay, but at least now that we know that there's no really reason for me to go into that cabin, which I'm kind of happy about, though it does seem like there's a light on in there that I couldn't see from the front, but oh well. So I'm pretty happy I don't have to go into that fucking cabin. But now I do obviously need to continue my way down this way to find out what is here. Now I do see it goes into a cave over there, but I want to see what this this what is this way first. Now I've got a funny feeling that once we start going into that cave, that's possibly going to be the direction of where the rituals were done. Especially with a lot of these kind of markings around spotted all over the entrance over here. Now, I still don't know if I am close to the end of the game or if I've still got a very long way to go. Obviously, that's why we are here. But with the amount of things that we have already found, I'm guessing we're not that far off. But I've made it around this way. So I've made it to the other side of where this broken bridge is. Now, it does lead all the way down that way, but where should I go first? That looks like it goes pretty damn far. So I think what I'm going to do is, just like we did the last time, we're going to backtrack, we're going to go into the cave and see if there's actually anything in there for me. Or if it's the big possible detour, or if it's literally just the case of this is where I have my ass handed to me. And of course it is freaking pitch black. So it literally doesn't go any deeper than this. Literally. Goes absolutely freaking nowhere. Then what is the point of this? Is there something that's going to open up later? There's no notes in here. Nothing. Still got a fire up there. Okay, so it looks like we've got no other choice but to follow this path all the way down that way. I still absolutely love how that entire section was blown out. And that fucking teddy bear is back. That teddy bear is back there and it was definitely not there when we just made our way over there. I still want to know what the whole deal is with that teddy bear. Got a path that goes over this way, but another path that runs down there. Which one's safe, which one's not? Are both safe? Doesn't look like I've actually missed anything down there. Congratulations, you finished this stage of our early access version. What?! We hope that you enjoyed it. It would be hugely helpful to us if you could go share your thoughts on this section of the game. This includes any bugs or problems you encountered. Suggestions or improvements that could be made even positive. Oh my gosh. That is the end of... No fucking ways. I am actually really, really upset that that is how this game draws to a close. 
well, I'm actually going to leave this up here just so that you guys can obviously see some of the people responsible for making this game while I talk about everything we have experienced in the Cursed Forest thus far. So, we know that there's this girl called Susan and she had a very, 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 very controlling father. He was very strict in the way he raised his family and also very strict in the way he raised the village. Now, we ourselves seem to be some form of investigative journalist that's out here trying to figure out they were basically stumbled across these ruins, this ancient like, town, settlers that lived here, that did these rituals, that sacrificed a willing person, a, willing, a person that was willing to be sacrificed to some kind of god to either keep them safe or to keep their crops going, whatever the hell the reason was, but the person had to be willing. Now, I think where everything went absolutely fucking sideways, and that's why we're seeing this girl that's all blacked out with the blue eyes, sorry, or the white eyes, is because possibly they sacrificed somebody that wasn't willing. They put somebody against their will to the knife and killed them, obviously, for it. Now, it looks like we're going through the same team members over here. So, possibly somebody that got sacrificed against their will, somebody that obviously did not want to do it, but obviously there was nobody else possibly that wanted to be sacrificed, and obviously, therefore, ended up being possibly awakening a god, because I know in one of the notes it did say that if someone was sacrificed that was not a willing sacrifice, that a god of some sort or some kind of entity would be released. It would build up power and bring destruction upon the earth. Now, I don't know if that entity has been already released and has caused all this absolute fucking chaos on this land, on the settlers. That's why there's no sign of them left. And I honestly think that that girl that's all blacked out, that entity, I think that is Sarah. I think Sarah was maybe the person that was sacrificed. We've heard a lot about somebody taking her away, the father taking her away from uh, the mother because either couldn't protect her or wanted to protect her. I think this is all going to come full circle. Right now, it is still very, very incomplete. And that is killing me. <laughs> it is honestly killing me that this game is not 100% done yet. I mean, I was getting into it. I was truly, truly excited to see where we are going to go with this, what the point of it was, what this god is, who that dark figure is, is it Sarah, isn't it, and what happened, and will I find my way out of here, or will I be the sacrifice that people need to save themselves? I loved this series. I did not think this was going to be the last episode, but obviously with it being the last episode, I really, really, really hope you guys enjoyed it. I had a lot of fun, a lot of fun playing it. Yes, very early access, so still very buggy, not that optimized, and I mean, my PC is a beast, and it was requiring quite a lot of it to actually run this game, and the frames were seeing its ass. So yes, there is room for improvement, but as you saw yourselves, the game is not complete. The game is on Steam. I mean, this. Go show the developer some support. Buy this game. Obviously, you do have to pay actual cash for it. Go buy the game. Show that support. And you guys can experience the story yourselves. Obviously, with headphones on, while you are synced into everything, it is a lot scarier than when, obviously, you guys watch it on my videos. But that brings the Cursed Forest to an end. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, let me know in the comments below. And obviously, leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed it. And I will see all you beautiful people in my next video. But obviously, until then... Cheers.